the next slide, but it's as simple as studying domestically. Either it's going to open for you from tax and taxes, etc. But as I said, there's more details that are coming up. It's also a program that some sellers use to say, well, I want us internationally, but I don't know which markets, which products would be applicable, and therefore I'm going to waste lots of time trying to optimize my business for that. And again, we find people use GSP to kind of turn it on, see which products sell well, see which um, lanes are particularly popular for their items, and then you can move food to potentially um, what we kind of call that sort of basic selling, maybe more of advanced international selling, so you can actually start to list those items on that site just sell. So if you find that the Germany is particularly popular for your items, so let's list them on the UK site, so you should be in Germany, you can list it on the German site directly uh, with that, and that gives you great visibility for the German buyer when it comes to such items, obviously, into a presentation. And we have a program, the European Sales Booster Program, that will take the UK listings and translate them and create those listings for the different European and local sites uh, to support that kind of expansion of those markets. Um, obviously, you can then do yourself and optimize those listings and that inventory to itself. And also, the kind of big, the, the biggest step would be to kind of form the portfolio. So, you know, if you're seeing loads of great sales in Germany, obviously, you still want to deal with customs and duties for each item, you've got to work on the shipping time and cost. You may think actually the next step is to actually full deploy those items to the German market, create an entity in that market, and then you're fulfilling domestically and locally to, to those markets. Um, that can be quite a big step, obviously, um, and even us have some programs now in a few key markets to support that. My colleague uh, Will's going to talk later about the EMA fulfillment program that's currently live in the UK, in Germany, can go live in Italy later, in Australia, in the US. And there are also programs where sellers can then forward deploy those goods to an eBay facility for fulfillment to service the domestic local markets. Alright, so the next slide will be a video.